Hey guys, it's Mr. Schultz back again with a brand new math video. And I have to say, this video is going to be very similar to the last video about counting to 100. Only this time, we will be counting to 1000. Our standard today is to count within 1000 and skip count by 5s, 10s, and 100s. Our learning objective is to extend counting sequences within 1000, counting by 1s, 5s, 10s, and 100s. Now let's get started. In the last video, we counted by 1s, 5s, and 10s to get to 100. But I bet you're asking yourself this very question. What happens when you get to 100? Nothing! Thanks for watching this video. Remember that this video and all my other math videos are available for you to view at any time. Just kidding, there's more. When you get to 100, the counting sequence continues on from 101 all the way to 200. But wait, there's more. It even goes from 201 to 300, 301 to 400, 401 to 500, 501 to 600, 601 to 700, 701 to 800, 801 to 900, and 901 to 1000. Now let's put these hundreds charts to work. On the left side of the screen, I have our first 100 chart. And on the right side of the screen, I have our 100 chart that goes all the way to 200, starting on 101. The first thing that I would like to do with you is to compare two random numbers on the 100 chart. They are 18 and 118. Now I'm going to show you the counting sequence for each number if we were to count by ones. On the left, it says 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. On the right, it says 118, 119, 120, 121, 122. Notice that the counting is the exact same apart from the 100 that I added to each number. How about another example of counting by ones? On the left, I have the 100 chart, and on the right, I have the 100 chart that goes all the way to 300, starting on 201. Here are the numbers 53 and 253. Below are the counting sequences. The numbers on the left say 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, the numbers on the right say 253, 254, 255, 256, and 257. Notice that the only thing different about both sequences is the presence of 200. You can also do the same thing when you're counting by fives. Here is the number 65 and 365, along with their counting sequences on the bottom. The left side says 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, and the right side says 365, 370, 375, 380, and 385. Here's another example of counting by fives using the numbers 15, and 715. Once again, along the bottom are the counting sequences for 15 and 715. The left side says 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and the right side says 715, 720, 725, 730, and 735. The point that I'm trying to make here is that you can count to any number within 1000 as long as you know how to count within 100 and can remember to say the 100 that you're working on, whether it be 100, 200, 400, 500, and so forth. 
And now what you see on your screen are the numbers 1 through 10, 10 through 100, and 100 through 1000. As long as you know how to count to 10, you can count by 10s and you can count by 100s. Check out the red numbers and notice how they're the same throughout. The next thing that we're going to do is count by 5s, 10s, and even 100s to find the missing numbers. Pay close attention because this is what your homework looks like. Let's count by 5s. 140, 145, 150, 155, 160, 165, 170. Let's count by 10s now. 470, 480, 490, 500. I think we've run into an issue. We've run out of numbers. Do you know what's going to come next? If you don't, you can use the current chart that you're on as a reminder. Look at this number. It says 410. And since we just did 500, that means our next number is going to be 510. We can continue using this chart for hints. Here's 420, which means our next number is going to be 520. And here's the number 430, which probably means that our number is going to be 530. That wraps it up for today's video where we learned to count by 5s, 10s, and 100s within 1000. I truly hope you gained some knowledge from this video as it is now time to do your homework. Numbers are so much fun when you learn how to use them properly. As always, thanks again for watching this video. Remember that this video and all my other math videos are available for you to view at any time. The more times you watch these videos, the smarter you're going to become. And before you know it, you'll be a master mathematician. That's all for now. I'll see you next time. Bye.